right, so here we are, continuing our study, uh, watercolor study, right? Um, we've done the primary color wax pencil composition, right? And then we did the um, complementary color wax pencil abstract composition, and this was the results, right? This is the blue and orange, okay? And now we're going to move on, and we're going to look at... Let's do the red and green complementary color wax pencil composition, abstract composition, right? So we're going to uh, move ahead. I have my uh, wax pencils, yellow, red, white, blue, black. I have my colors, my palettes clean. I got fresh water, nebulizer, brushes, okay? We're all set to go. Um, so let's tape down our piece of paper, okay? And we need to, again, remind ourselves, right, the, 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 the green and red. So red is our primary color, green is a secondary color, so we're gonna need blue and yellow to mix that green, right, which is the complementary color of red, okay? Orange, blue, red, green, yellow, violet. Okay, that's what we're going to be doing. So red and green is the current uh, uh, color choice, right? So we're going to tape down our piece of paper nice and square again, right? We like that, square and neat, okay? It helps us manage the paper as it... Uh, uh, absorbs all the moisture and starts to buckle. It keeps it nice and flat for us. Okay. And plus it gives the, the artwork, oops, a nice edge. Okay. Found the center there, sort of by eye. Okay, and we're gonna do, we're gonna practice this um, composition, this exercise twice, okay? And one of the things that I forgot to get as I spilled the water here is we wanna make sure we have paper towels. Okay, so here are the paper towels, all right? All right, so the first thing we want to do is we want to um, draw, use the wax pencil, okay, um, to establish a form that we're going to work with, right? And we're thinking ahead. We're going to work in a wet mode initially um, to take advantage of the soft um, interaction of, of color and, and, and pigment. Uh, with with the water and it and it'll create a soft effect, right? That's 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 a wet mode, and then we're going to dry it, and we're, we're going to work in a dry mode, which creates um, sharper uh, graphic strokes with the with the brush. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is let's do a drawing to help us um, orient our color and stuff to give the page a little form. Okay, so we're going to be doing uh, red and green, okay? So last uh, designs we did, uh, um, I want to vary my approach a little bit to create different types of designs. Maybe um, this time we're gonna kind of do maybe more of like a pattern type of design, right? So let's let's see what happens, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and put down some marks. Okay. This is an unpredictable pattern I'm doing here, right? It's a little bit, but you'll see why I'm 
calling it a pattern, okay? So that's our blue. I'm gonna move on to my next color. And again, to help you understand how to peel or sharpen these pencils, I love that action. You um, unravel the pencil, okay? So this is our yellow pencil. Let's give it a, okay. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Um. It's so warm out that the uh, wax pencil is soft. Okay. Very good. Let's see if we can implement the uh, the red effectively. Okay. Okay. Okay, so that's our red, and now the white. White always provides for a nice surprise because we don't initially see it very well on the white page, and then when we apply the color, the, um, the wax resists and the white is revealed. So we need to strategically place this with some sort of foresight, so to speak, right? Yeah. Okay. And again, we have to constantly remind ourselves or why are we doing this? We're creating artwork, right? We're picture making. We are um, in a creative mode, right? So this is important to remember. So we're, we're um, creating the unexpected. We're creating some life picture will take on a life of its own, so to speak, right? So we're bringing interest, we're designing, okay? And so there we are. I think I'm done with the drawing at this point, right? And so let's, um, let's think now. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to, right, since we're going to be working in a wet mode, we're going to um, wet the surface, okay, and we want to, um, I'm going to use the nebulizer here to put down some water to facilitate that, and then I'm going to use my brush to spread the water a little bit, okay, evenly, okay, nice. And if there's a little too much water, we can always sop it up, but I think I'm, I'm good with that. Okay, and so now let's um, lay down some fresh color. Okay, so let's look now. Color wheel, red, 
the green. The green is composed of yellow and blue. Okay, so red, I'm gonna lay down some fresh red. So we have that ready to go. And then I'm gonna put on some, uh, some blue onto the palette. Okay, that's our cobalt blue. And then I'm going to uh, put down some fresh yellow. Okay, great, we're all set now. Okay, so um, the page is wet, right? And let's go. So I'm gonna use my large brush. I'm going to, right, this is the wet mode, so we wanna do soft, right? So let's think. Uh, whether we do the red first or the blue or the green, right? Since the green is the cooler color of the two, let's do that. So I'm going to mix some green, right? So green is the yellow with the blue. All right. And want to mix up a whole bunch of it. And you want to make sure the green has enough blue in it to give it a give it some punch okay and we're going to kind of float the color in there whoa okay we're gonna just i was a little bit uh generous with the water but we know how to manage that so we make a little wick and we can Pick up some of the excess, but you can see how that's bled nicely into the image. Okay. Mm hmm. And I'm, I'm just, I want to uh, create soft area, soft color, all right, so blue and yellow, nice and soft. Right, some of these sharp areas, I'm gonna soften it with a little water. Okay. Just picking up some of the pools of color. Okay, and so now, while we're in the, the wet mode here, I'm going to quickly move to my red. Right, so I'm gonna remove the green off the palette. Okay, and here we go with the red. Okay. And I want to get the, the red to interact with the green. And see how it's creating those secondary values, uh, tertiary values, tertiary colors. Okay. And so we're still working nice and soft and not too dark.
Okay. And I'm thinking ahead a little bit, right? Because we're gonna we're gonna start working in the uh, dry mode and then defining some of these forms more and more. Okay. Okay. Right. Nice. I like it. Soft edges. Deeper values of color. Okay. 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 I want to, I just really want it to be very soft right now because I'm foreseeing defining these shapes nicely with stronger color. Okay. Ready. I like it. Okay. I think I'm going to just increase the value in a couple spots. Alrighty, let's see all these beautiful colors, these browns that are starting to show up, right? Okay, I might go back to a little bit of green to goose up the value of the green, okay? So I'm going to clean up my palette, okay? I'm going to, before, before I dry the paper, right? So here's a, some blue and yellow. Okay, and just need to be careful. Just increasing the value a little bit in a couple places, the green. Making sure I have a nice, nice dark green. Okay. Getting it to interact with the red. Okay, I think I'm good. All right, so now we're going to dry our piece of artwork. 
Okay, so at this point, you know, we just dried the, uh, the painting. It's pretty dry. It's still a little damp, which is okay, right? And now we're entering the dry um, or drier mode of working, right? We're, uh, we're going to use, you see we've had, we have our, we have our waters clean, right? I cleaned up the palette. Okay, we're gonna use the medium sized brush now, right? And let's see what we can do. So now the objective here is to um, sort of sharpen up some of the definition or forms, right? In, in the painting. You can see how we've worked softly. In other words, it, I didn't do like a paint by number up to the edges strictly. Things are kind of um, going across the boundaries, so to speak, of the lines, right? The soft softness, okay? And so now let's take a look at what happens, right? So let's, let's start to work with the green, right? So yellow with blue, right? Yellow with blue. And we're gonna work in a transparent mode. We wanna try to overlap some of the red colors with the green and see what the results are, right? So the, the application's a little sharper here, right? But I'm gonna, I'm gonna soften it up. It's gonna dry back into a, a whole new color. But you see how sharp that is, okay? And that's gonna dry back to a nice brown. Right now the, the water, it, it's, the, the green is reflected, right? So it needs to seep into the painting. It'll dry back into a nice brown, brownish color, right? So here I'm going to, again, I, I believe I'm gonna, uh, let's see what we can do here. Okay, so I'm going to apply some of that green over the top of this red up here. Okay. All right. All right. Now I'm kind of defining the edges of some of these shapes. Oh little clear, right? So let's continue this. to make sure the green has a little punch to it, right? Give it a little value, heavy value, heavier value, so it has an impact, right? And that, that value is changed by adding water, subtracting water. Okay, so I'm gonna keep working and see now how, see how interesting this is now? There's different levels of sharpness, right? The soft, parts fall away, the sharp parts define the forms, okay? So let's try that some more across the painting, right? So I'm using my blue and yellow to create that green, beautiful, right? So here we go. I'm going to use this green over the top of the red a little bit. Um, let's take a look, right? So, uh, yeah. A little using it a little thinner than I did that over previously. Let's see what happens. You know, 
this is this is creativity. So you got to kind of experiment, search, um, define. Okay. Just increasing the value. Okay. And then let's move into this area a little bit. All right, so the blue and the yellow. Nice. Look at these soft transitions in relationship to the sharp areas. Okay. That's what we want. The, the eye likes to see variation. Okay. And that's what we're giving it, right? So I'm going to... And some of these shapes that I'm putting down with the green, I'm anticipating putting red over it. Right? When we start working with the red. So... Um, that's a good thing, right? So I'm thinking ahead, thinking ahead, always thinking ahead. Right? Integrating the color, weaving the color together. Okay, now let's keep going. Move to the left side of the painting. Right? And it's good to work from light to dark, lighter values to darker values, right? So, there we go. And see how putting that green, see how bright the green is here? And then putting it over the red creates this eight chromatic value. This is a very gray, transparent gray. It's neither red nor green. Eight chromatic, right? Beautiful. Just re-establishing that green, nice and strong. Okay. All right. Blue and yellow, blue. Okay. All right. I think I'm going to make this a dark, dark green over here. work with the color in a transparent manner. As you see, I'm just gliding the color on there. Gliding the color. Look how putting that green over the red creates that dark red. Nice. That's what we want. Okay. OK. 
okay? And you can see how the green, look at the way the green value recedes, it goes away and the red jumps out at us. Remember, we spoke about that. The hot colors, which are, right? Red, yellow, oranges, all those. Those hot colors jump out at us and the cool colors recede, okay? Meaning they fall away in space. Okay, so let's transition now to uh, hang on a little bit more. I was gonna say transition to some red, but I'm still not done here with our green. I love it. Okay. Right, make that soft transition there. Okay, very cool, right? Nice, and look how harmonious the color is, right? We're using two colors, red and green, and we're getting these colors to interact, and the color is quite harmonious, right? So now let's uh, push the green back a little bit on our palette. And we're gonna work with the red a little bit. Let's see what happens, right? So. Hmm. Some of our red. What can we do here? Cool to paint red over the green. Love the one out. Some sharp detail.
the olive, olive greens, you know, you got, look at that. That's that green with red. Okay. All right, and as we, we're gonna, we're gonna hit this with some, some green on top. So I'm trying to foresee um, some of the requirements of the color, the density of the color to stand up to that green. Okay, so we can push back the red a little bit. Okay. And then engage with the green again, right? So that's the blue. Blue. And yellow. Nice. Hit it just right. Blue, yellow. Makes the green. Right? So. And I'm not trying to just cover up the color. I'm trying to get it to, I'm putting it in there and I want it to interact with the, uh, the color underneath, right? So, creating these browns and tans and olive colors. can work with the red simultaneously I think I'm good actually So you can see how we've created this uh, pattern.
pattern, so to speak, right? Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm looking, there's things that I could do here. Let's maybe take a sharp brush and add some interest by uh, creating some graphic elements within the, within the design. Right. Okay. Nice and strong. Just adding a little life to it, right? Little point, points of interest. Do the same with the blue. I mean the green, right? So blue. And yellow makes some nice dense green, right? And we can add little elements here. Some shapes. I think I like them filled in a little bit. Sharpening things up, so the blue, the yellow, this is going to create for nice solid dark elements in the composition which are required. So we have this beautiful composition, right? And so let's see. Um, oh, I see an opportunity here to do a ever so slight Okay, so there we go, right? So look at all these different colors, right? So this is red and green as the complementary color, right? And so we had this, we started out using a, uh, a wet mode, right? You can see all the surviving effects. And then we sharpened things up as we worked into it. Okay, so let's, I'm going to, dry things up with the um with the uh, dryer and then we're going to move on to our next composition okay so here we are we're going to continue right and we've completed this first um drawing or painting right we worked um with the uh, red and green 
colors, the complementary colors. We're going to do the same here on the second one, right? Um, we start with the wet mode, and then we work towards the dry mode. Of, and the first thing we do is we um, uh, do a drawing with the wax pencil that resists the watercolor and the wax pencil helps us to establish a form to work with okay so here we have um, um, sort of a pattern with but a varied one so now I'm gonna try to um, go for a more concise pattern let's see what we can do okay right let's see what we can do right Okay, we're gonna the pattern is usually something that's defined by a repetitive motif of sorts. So I'm doing a sort of a pseudo pattern so to speak it's um, incorporating uh, several motifs okay Okay. And then, of course, we're going to use our white strategically. Okay. And here we go. Okay, very good. So, um, I'm good with this right now. We're going to maybe add a couple more uh, points of interest. Okay. Very good. So, our first mode of working is in the wet mode. Okay, I'm going to use a shield as I uh, spray down some water. Okay. Okay, we've got some water down. Um, I'm going to spread the water with my brush. Okay. And again, this is the preparation to using uh, the wet mode of working. 
okay? Things are gonna be soft, right? And the idea is not to use these forms as some sort of paint by number. My initial application is gonna be um, with lots of water. Okay, I'm gonna go with the, with the green as a first application. Okay, there we go. Nice dark green. All right. And I'm going to yellow blue and yellow Okay, so there's our green, and now let's apply some red. So I'm gonna push back my push back my green here, okay. and then let's add our red. Green and red, complementary colors. So right, so I'm working soft now because it's it's wet. So the colors are bleeding together, which is nice, creating these browns and tans and olives. Okay. Alrighty, so now you can see how the color is soft, no hard edges yet, okay? And so at this point, let's dry our drawing. Okay, so the color is nice and soft 
and we are um, entering the the phase of working with our uh, working in the dry mode. Okay, all right. All right, so at this point we can begin to add, I will use a medium sized brush, we can begin to add some more solid colors. Okay. And uh, I'm trying to think ahead how, what's gonna, what's gonna go on here. Okay. All righty. And the paper is still a little wet, which is nice, right? Choosing some shapes. Defining things, overlapping colors. Right? Creating those tertiary colors. Okay. And I'm keeping in mind that I'm going to overlap. I'm, I'm, you know, visualizing this going forward, and right, I'm going to overlap some of these colors, right? So, the red with the green, and the green with the red. Okay. Deepening some of these values. some green over the top of that. Right. I 
All right, let's let's move on to a little green and see what happens. Okay. All right, so I have to clean up my palette. Push the red back. Wow, red got out of control here. All right, so now we're going to work with uh, some green, right? Uh, so that's the blue with the yellow. All right, and we're in the dry mode. So now we're going to overlap some of these colors, All right? And Let's see how that goes. Blue and yellow. And as we overlap these colors, you can see the achromatic values come up. Beautiful. And as some areas, look how this area gets dark, this becomes brighter. The points of interest are, are there. And I'm working strategically with the, the form of the drawing, right? I'm working with it. I put, the, put down those red areas so that I, I, I foresaw, right, overlapping it. Right, you gotta kinda think ahead in terms of what you're gonna do. Okay, so here we are. I'm Okay. 
Okay. Nice. Look at, it. Look at this olive sort of green that's coming up. All these beautiful values of color. Oops, blue and yellow, blue and yellow, green. Establish that sort of cleaner color. Take a look at this. Nice. I like it. It's playful, right? You get a chance to get the colors to interact. Okay. Push the green back a little bit. Let's try to work with a little red. Okay. to make a couple of these red areas a little more solid. Right, so I'm just kind of filling in Add some points of interest. A little detail, right? So there's a, a relief in the uh, composition, some detail.
Okay. Hmm. blue and yellow makes our green and I'm gonna overlap this and it's gonna look very bright right now bright green but it's gonna dry back and it's gonna make a nice brownish greenish brownish olive type color overlapping the red. <laughs> 